Hi everybody, I'm here with Manny Ortiz. He hasn't shaved in a few days. This is what he looks like when he doesn't shave. What's up everyone? Today we're shooting in the comfort of our own home. We're shooting with, well I'm going to be shooting with window light and I'm going to be shooting with flash and I'm going to kind of, kind of a comparison video of the two. But I, I do want to bring this, um, just give you guys some sample pictures and uh, hopefully bring a little education into it. Okay? Let's do it. Let's go. Well, one of the problems with we're using window light is that if it's a really cloudy day like today, there isn't much light coming through the window. So you gotta raise that ISO. Because I just, <laughs> she doesn't actually know that, I promise you. Wait, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower my shutter speed to 100 so I can, okay, one, two, good, good. One, two, beautiful, that was a really good one. Love the soft hands. Take a step toward me. Oh, look, yeah, right there. One, two. Good. One, two. Three. See the highlights leaking right now. Octobox, I'm using it's a 38 inch. Um, Westcott softbox with a with a speed light Godox speed light. The reason why I'm shooting with this is because that's all I have <laughs> Obviously the softbox isn't as big as the window. So it's not gonna be as soft, but that's the whole point of the comparison um, This is where all his knowledge is at right here. Okay, so we have the flash set up and we're gonna shoot it <laughs> Fuck. You're such Order oh. my food Good. 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 Okay. One, two. Good. Obviously, one of the benefits of flash is being able to kind of control the light, right? You control the light so you don't have to like move your background this way so you can get side light coming in from, from outside. Let me see here. One, two. Let's see. One, two. Let's see. What we got? All right, in the comment section below, tell me what you use, window light or strobes and why, and what do you use them for? Because I think that's what it comes down to. It's not about which light is better, it's almost like which light is better for what kind of situation. I would use window light for like a lifestyle kind of shot or just a really flattering portrait of somebody because that light is so soft and if you use it straight on, you get really nice catch lights. You won't see a lot of the blemishes on someone's face. So I love that about window light. But you can't take windows everywhere or you, you can't always be next to a window for your shot. So that's when flash comes in, okay? Flash, like the setup that I had in the room, it's more specular. So you're gonna see a lot of, you're gonna, it's gonna define someone's face more. It's great for beauty shots, things of that nature, fashion. But when you're shooting, let's say, like, let's say you wanted a window light effect with a flash, these are two things that you have to worry about. You want to make sure that's a big modifier, okay? The bigger the light source, the softer the light, okay? And number two is you want to make sure that the light is really close to the person or close as possible. The farther the light away is, the less soft it's going to be. That's how I would use both kinds of lights. I'll see you in the next video.